right, so I hope to God I'm in focus because I'm using my camera that is not autofocus because I feel like my other camera is making things look orangey because it's not really like meant for like filming filming, but yeah. So I'm gonna try this camera out while that one's charging, at least to do my face. <clears throat> might switch back to the other one for my eyes just because I really can't tell if I'm in focus right now. Like, I don't know. Am I? I think I am. For primer today, I'm using the Veil Mineral Primer. I should have gotten more of these because I have so many Sephora points that I never use because I literally never like anything that they have. For foundation today, I'm going to use the Infallible Pro Glow from L'Oreal. Um, this is, I don't know if this is too dark for me or not. Actually, it might not be. If it is, I'm gonna mix in some matte and poreless from Maybelline just because this is super dewy and that's more matte. And so I'm sure it'll give it like the perfect in, you know, perfect finish. It's really orangey. It's one thing I don't like about the L'Oreal Infallible line is I feel like all the foundations are orange. Like, I love the finish. just don't like the colors. All right, so now that foundation's done, I might look a little crazy because the color is a little orange, but it's starting to, it blends pretty well with my body, so I'm okay with it. Um, my eyes look super white because I already have them primed with MAC Soft, po soft Poker, Soft Ogre Paint Pot. For concealer today, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Concealer. So my camera kept saying card full, so I had to delete some things. I swear to God if it says it one more time. To style my under eyes, I'm going to use the Locket Petal Translucent Powder. Oops. Might have grabbed a bit much. Wow, I am a hot freaking mess today. Say, uh, my under eyes are brightened. For my liquid bronzer, I'm going to use the Paracone MD No Bronzer Bronzer. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go over it with a powder bronzer. Whoops, that might be a bit much. This stuff literally blends out so easily though. Right. Like two seconds. I want to make sure I kind of have a not so sloppy contour today. So I'm gonna take the Kat Von D translucent powder, not the brightening one, just the normal one, and set under there. And then I will go in with the contour kit from Anastasia. I don't know why I've been reaching this for this a lot more recently because I used to not really like it very much. I kind of it was like one of those things I regretted purchasing, like it was so hyped up and then I purchased it and I was disappointed in it. But recently I've been liking it. So I'm just gonna mix these two shades and contour. Next, I'm just gonna wipe away that powder. I 
For blush, I'm going to use Max New Romance. This is one of their mineralized blushes. I love these. Pretty blush that gives a nice sheen to the cheeks and it's peachy, so I really like it. It kind of already gives you a highlight as well, so you totally do not need to go in with highlight after this, but you know I will anyway. So for highlight, since this blush already kind of gives you a little bit of highlight, I'm going to use this one from Essence. It's called Be My Highlight Pure Nude Highlighter. Um, and this is actually really pretty. I used it for the first time yesterday and it's actually more intense than I thought it was going to be, but it's still so natural. So I'm going to go in with this and this is less than $5. So if you're looking for a good drugstore highlight, I got mine at Ulta. I'm literally just going to add a tiny bit because I'm really, really blurry right now. And I'll add this to my nose and Cupid's bow. I'm going to use the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Powder. Oh, powder. Setting spray. What's wrong with me? So for my eyes, I'm going to use the Modern Renaissance Palette. Mine is beat up. I reach for this palette more than any palette, I think. Like, these colors are everything. You can do so many different looks with them. I think I already have three looks on my channel using this palette, but I'm going to use it again. And I forgot my eye makeup brushes. So to start off this look, I'm going to take Burnt Orange and apply that in my crease. Did I mention how pigmented these were? I'm also gonna take it on my lower lash line. star of this makeup look, this orange shade in here, Real Gar, is probably my favorite shadow. And then all the purples and um, like reddish colors are my faves too. <clears throat> but I'm gonna take Real Gar and put it all over my lid. Look how pretty that color is. On the pencil brush, I'm going to take it and put it on my outer corners as well. <clears throat> Go back in with burnt orange and blend everything together. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Easiest eye makeup ever. However, I am going to take Primavera, Primavera, this like gold champagne-y shimmery color and put that on my brow bone and on my inner corner. I'm gonna put a nude eyeliner in my waterline. I was gonna do winged liner, but I think I'm gonna skip that.
For lashes today, I'm using 121s from Eiler. If you're a beginner, I would just start out with something not as dramatic as these. However, it's funny because now I have a harder time applying lashes that are thinner in a band rather than these, which are thicker. For some reason, I have an easier time with these now. So when you first get lashes, a lot of times people don't realize you have to trim them to fit your eyes. So if I didn't trim these, they would be ginormous on me. Now, I don't like to put my eyelash all the way into my inner corner because it will drive me insane. It will poke me, it will annoy me, so I like to kind of start it more like where my actual lash starts you know what i mean and then i'll just do eyeliner right there to blend it rather than put this all the way in the inner corner which i just i just can't do it it just, it just drives me crazy hmm. i'm literally about two seconds from killing my camera for lips i'm going to use naked from anastasia I'm too lazy to put on a lip liner right now and I'm in a hurry. All right guys, so that completes this look. My camera is being crazy and I don't know what to do about it. So sorry if this video was a hot mess. I need to work on getting new memory cards and a camera and stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.